But as you can see, the cure has slowed down significantly because of the matters that I've taken to hurt, affect it. Now I have a crap ton of disease. Uh, I have a crap ton of DNA points too, over a hundred. Uh, hypersensitivity is right here. No big deal. That's something I can sort out. Necrosis I don't want. Tumors I don't want for this just yet. Pneumonia I will take just on the basis that it's harmless. Uh, vomiting won't be a big deal. That's kind of a big deal. That might be. Um. Okay. And that should do it. I think I pretty much got all the uh, fever. I'd rather not have because it can cause things there. I've pretty much gotten all the uh, symptoms that can only that only uh, do that. So now new matters. Get more stuff to help this thing spread. The infectivity is huge now. This is probably the highest I think in the history of this blazer so far that the infectivity has been this high. But that's how much I'm trying to focus on this. Um, they fully see what's the gen genome, which is not something I'm pleased about. That's actually a bad thing because it makes the cure go up just slightly. Um, now I can get extreme zoonosis, which means infect infection crosses multiple species' barriers. Increase infectivity, especially in rural and urban areas. Mutation chance and cross county transmission. That's something I need right there. Cross county infection is something that you need right then and there. Seizures. I would like to get rid of that. I don't really want that just yet. Sanity. I would want to get, but not right the second. Now look at the... Look at how much this thing spread now, though. But, um... Still no worrying about the cure at the moment. Like, the cure is really struggling to progress. And then I'm gonna make it where it just gets disabled for a few weeks, and the cure suddenly drops down even more. Um, I still do not want anything lethal just yet. Not quite yet. Pretty soon it's gonna get to the point where the mutations are gonna really pick up. But at the moment they're not, so... Let's see here, a lot of the world has already been infected. Greenland is still not hit though, but I'm hoping that that boat is going to Greenland. I just saw come out of the... Uh, come from Europe. Let's see where it's going. Nope, not into Greenland. That's pretty much what I'm going to be watching now, is where exactly the boats are going. The good news is that pretty much any... like the countries are no doubt going to... Uh, by the way, this is a nasty one. Uh, hemophilia and skin lesions are causing the infected to have blood pouring out of their skin, making SSF far more dangerous. Perofuse bleeding. Yeah. Pretty, uh... Yeah. So Greenland's ports are still open. They're still open. But the question for me is how long, and if it's going to beat any potential boats that go into that country. Because from what I can see, ports are really starting to shut down now. Um, and that's nothing that I don't particularly like to see. But I can get Insect 2. That's going to help with the... Uh, spreading but I would like Greenland to get hit there there it goes finally uh, we got Greenland just in the nick of time I think I think they were just about yep they closed their ports shortly afterwards just in the nick of time Greenland got infected so now the first task at hand I want to I think I want to get cold re cold resistance um, that would have been bad if I accidentally exited out of the game um, that was the last country that needed to be infected so from the looks of it, I honestly think that should do it. Um, not much else I can do otherwise. I don't want to increase symptoms still. I still want to keep those at bay. But I would it, I would like to at least get cold resistance too. Um, that's something I definitely want to get. Just to make it so Greenland will spread a bit quicker. But it looks to me like it is spreading fine anyway. Something I do like to see. I'm very glad that Green was invented just in a good time. That was a close call. Not gonna lie. Um, gonna see here. I also need to pay attention to the cure as well, because that's something else that's definitely potentially an issue. 
Um, the mutations no longer an issue. Symptoms I don't think are an issue. Transmission's no longer an issue. I think we're all good to go. Um, in terms of getting everything set to go. I think that is that. Let's see, 20 DNA points, not really much I could use for that at the moment, but it does allow me to kind of let things play out. But, yeah. Here. A lot of a lot of cure bubbles. I think at this point Greenland is the last country. Um, the amount of healthy people are going down down tremendously. That's for sure. Let's see, there was a huge earthquake in the UK. No big deal. Looks like people are beginning to go down though. Looks like there are deaths that are beginning to crop up. Um, so I apparently missed something here. Hey, if people are starting to, you know, go down, that's fine with me. I think it is okay now to let people begin to lose lives. Paranoia in Iceland, that's something that I uh, don't think I've seen before. It's no big deal, though, because everyone's about to get infected there anyway. Walking Dead. <clears throat> so let me see here. I don't really know what else I can do here at this point except try to start a combating the cure again. Continue to let that thing mutate. May as well. Yeah, Greenland is definitely going to get entirely infected. I don't even need cold resistance to, as it turns out. But I am, however, going to need some stuff that starts taking out, um... Out people, so... No healthy people left in the world. Good to see. That means the game is almost put away. And there you go. Total organ failure and coma. So let's go ahead and just watch this carry out, huh? I mean, why not? Look at that. Like, look how quickly people start going down. Um, U.S. President was taken ill. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's one of the, like I said, it's something that, it's one of those little side events. But look how quickly people are dying. Like, that's insane. They're not going to combat this disease at all. So that was two wins in a row. That's probably the best streak I've had. Not gonna lie. Those cure bubbles continue though. But it's gonna be all for naught. Because they haven't really... They're doing very poorly here in combating this, so... <clears throat> cure code is just not gonna work for them. Oh, the bubbles are... They really do pop up, though, when the... I'm kind of surprised there are still bubbles even showing up. Despite how few people are even alive. But the cure is not going to be solved. It's too late now. Everyone's been infected. It's done. It is a done deal. Infected rate still going down. Projectile vomiting. I'm surprised it took this long for it to actually show up, though. But that's that, guys. That is the game. Um, and there's still bubbles showing up. But there you guys go. I uh, I do hope you enjoyed this uh, session. I'm definitely... I'm amazed at how quickly this went. But, uh, yeah. Wait for the thing to go down to zero. There you go. So that's two plague wins in a row, and that wasn't actually that bad, but thank you guys for watching, I will see you next time for the next edition of Plague Inc. Evolved, but for now, this is Zessa signing out. Sayonara, guys.